Hi, it's Esther here with an energizing Pilates flow routine focusing on our abdominals and our back muscles. You don't need any equipment, just follow along and you will leave refreshed and ready to tackle the day. So let's begin in standing on the top of your mat with your feet hip distance apart. Gently draw the sitting bones together, tell the pelvis underneath and elongate your entire spine, entire body, lengthening the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Gently nod your chin, widen the collarbones, and relax your shoulders backwards and downwards. From here, nod your chin, look downwards, tilt your head forward, round your shoulders, and slide your hands in front of your legs, down towards your knees, towards your feet. Gently roll forward as far as you're comfortable with, Hold for a deep inhalation and slowly roll back up as you exhale. Extend both arms sideways and above your head. Keep your core engaged and then release your arms down and then repeat that movement. Just a gentle mobilization to start with. Deep inhalation, slowly roll back up using your core, building up your spine vertebrae by vertebrae, arms reaching up. Relax back down. Let's do one more of this. Gently shifting your weight forward at the furthest point, keeping your knees soft. And then slowly roll back up into nice and tall position, extending both arms. And then relax your hands down on your hips. Engage your core. Peel your right heel away. And then step back into a lunge position, tilt your pelvis underneath, extend your right arm, reach and lengthen, and then move back to the center, engage your core, repeat the same movement on the other side, left heel stepping backwards, left arm reaching upwards, nice stretch to start with, and then roll back. One more on each side, right, reach and lengthen, then move back and a left reach and lengthen all ten toes are pointing forwards both heel hips also let's do one more of that right leg right arm and center and same on the other side left reach and lengthen then move back to the center into nice tall position. Roll forward one more time. Hold for a deep inhalation. Relax your hands down on the mat. Bend both knees and step backwards into plank position. Deep inhalation. Hold. Exhale. Push yourself back up into downward facing dog. Hold for another deep inhalation, then raise both heels up and repeat the same rolling motion as you did in standing. Roll forward into plank again, lengthening your whole spine, engage your core, hold, then slowly roll back up into downward facing dog, walk forward the top of your mat, between your hands, engage your core and slowly roll back up, building up your spine from the bottom towards the top, extending both arms up and above your head, relax back down, engage your core, feeling your right heel away, step back, tilt your pelvis underneath, the right arm reaching up, left arm reaching downwards, and then relax your right arm down, shift your weight forward, extend your left arm, reach and perhaps float your right heel away from the ground, balance, slowly move back to the center, extending your right arm up into lunge, and then step forward again, repeat this on the other side, Left heel, engage your core, step back, left arm reaching up, keep your core engaged, drawing the lower ribs down towards your hips, and then relax your hand in the front of your thigh, shift your weight forward, right arm, and left leg is reaching away from each other, 
If you're able to hold your balance, you can float your leg up and away. And relax. Move reach again with your left arm. And release. Step forward. Roll forward. Downward, reaching towards your feet. Hold for a deep inhalation. Plant your palms down. Bend both knees. Step back. Right and left into a plank position. Downward facing dog. Hold for a deep inhalation. Then roll forward as you just did before. Into plank again. Engage your core. Tucking your pelvis under. Activate your core. Activate your abdominals and glutes. And then raise your right. Heel and release. Left heel tiny tiny bit. Just to fill your glutes. Activating. Same on one side. The other, one more each side. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Finishing this on the left. Move back, well done. Push yourself back up. And then roll forward. Into plank again. Deep inhalation. Long exhalation, roll back. Into downward facing dog. Walking forward with your feet. In between your hands on the top of your mat, slowly rolling back up, relaxing your shoulders, engaging your core, lengthening both arms up and above your head, roll legs back down. Brilliant. Let's add one more movement to this routine. Right heel and knee up, stepping back, engage your core, right arm is reaching, and relax your hand down in front of your thigh. The left arm is reaching forward. Shift your weight forward. Try and balance. And then lift a couple of times. Opposite arm and leg. While you keep pressing your right palm into your thigh. We're going to have one more lift. And then relax your arm. Shift back into lunge position. Keep your Pelvis tucked under, right arm is reaching up, left one is down, and then release, step forward, repeat this on the other side. Left heel and knee, stepping back, engage your core, move your chest above your pelvis, and then lengthen your left arm up and above, keep the connection between the lower ribs and your hips. And then relax, hand down in front of your thigh, shift your weight forward, extend your right arm, left leg. And then once you get your balance, then try and lower opposite arm and leg and lift and reach a little bit further up without overarching your lower back. We're going to have one more tiny little lift. Reach, then lower, back into lunge, left arms reaching, left heel is planting down, relax, and step forward, roll down again, nice and long spine, hold for a deep inhalation, relax your hands, step back with your left and then your right, into downward facing dog, raising the heels, engaging your core, rolling forward, shifting your weight, gently and slowly into plank position, hold for a deep inhalation, and raise your right heel, lower down, left heel, lower down. You can repeat this movement, or lifting your right leg, then pull the left knee across in front of your chest towards the left elbow, reach and release. Same on the other side, lift, reach across with the knee, keep your plank position, lift your heel again and lower. Let's repeat one more time on each side, lift, reach across, 
lift and lengthen, release, other side, hill, knee across, hill, and release, brilliant. Push yourself back up into downward facing dog again, and then slowly roll forward. We're gonna have one more plank to hold for one deep inhalation, and slowly roll back into downward facing dog, raise both heels up, slowly relax both knees down on the ground into all fours, relax your feet and shift your weight back into child position. Hold for a few deep breaths, relax, inhale, and exhale, just catch your breath. One more deep inhalation. Long exhalation. Then move forward into all fours position. Cross your right hand over your left wrist. Shift your weight back into child again. Inhale and exhale, move forward. Cross your arms. And repeat this on the other side. Have a nice extension and length on the left side of your torso. Move back into the center. Cross your feet and then roll over your ankles and shuffle towards the front of your mat with your feet hip distance apart, parallel to each other. Relax your shoulders backwards and downwards and jump the toe to your pelvis backwards into C-shaped curve of your spine. Inch forward and build up your spine. Slowly roll back. Inch forward as you inhale. Build up your spine nice and tall. We can have some more. And if you wish, you can extend your right arm up and above your head. Relax sideways down into the C-shaped curl. Same on the left. Relax. few more. Keep pressing your feet into the ground. And if you're ready, you can try extending both arms. Reach and lengthen, keeping the connection in between your ribs. So you don't let your ribs poking out so much. Activate your core. We can have one more. Nice and long spine, relax, then hold that C-shaped position. Engage your core, even use your pelvic floor muscles, lifting and squeezing up a little bit, and then pull your left elbow backwards, and in center, right elbow, try to open up your chest. Look above your shoulder, and then perhaps extend your arm a little bit back, and center. Reach and lengthen. Look into your palm. Keep a nice wide smile. And also wide nice smiley collarbones. Keeping your chest open. We're gonna have one more on the other side. And then moving back to the center, reach and lengthen. Relax your hands down into that C-shaped curve position. Reach and lengthen one more time. Let's join these two movements together. Put your palms together above your head and then relax down towards your left knee. Reach and lengthen back up and then reach towards the right knee. One on the other side, hold it there. 
pull again, open up, perhaps extend a little bit further, and then back to the center above your head. Same on the other side, extending your right arm, reaching and lengthening. You can even press the back of your hand into the side of your knee. That will activate your abdominals even more. Stabilize your hip and neck position. Press and extend, reach and lengthen. Center, reaching all the way up. Then relax your hands down behind your pelvis. Open up your chest, extend your right leg, keep your core engaged, and then slowly push yourself up. Hold for a deep inhalation, relax down, change the position of your legs, engage your core, press both palms and your heel foot into the ground. Move one more each side. Hold for a deep inhalation, keep your chest open in both positions. We're going to have one more. Pressing your foot, pressing the heel and your palms into the ground. Keep lifting your back and release. Last one, extending your left leg, deep inhalation and long exhalation. Bend your left knee and then tilt your knees towards the side one and the other way around. Let your back rotate one side and the other. Gently look away from your knees above and behind your shoulder and back. We're going to have one more each side. And then a nice stretch, finally. Okay, let's separate your legs. Face towards the long edge of your mat into a W seated position, keeping your left shin in front of your hips. The right knee is bent and the right shin is facing towards the short edge of your mat. Relax the shoulders, engage your core, reach your left arm up and above, hold for a deep inhalation and relax down. Repeat this movement on the other side. Probably you will be able to walk your lower most hand a little bit further down, perhaps lower your elbow a little bit and release. Reach a little bit further. Just make sure your knees are happy. If you feel this position is not comfortable for you, you can separate your legs, extending both legs in front of you, or sit up a little bit higher. Perhaps using a folded blanket or a pillar underneath your hips. One more each side. Probably that will give you a little bit more comfortable seated position. That's great. Relax. We have one more on the other side. And release back down. Great. Let's change the position and repeat the same stretch on the other way around. So we have the right chin in front of us, the left one is on the side. Engage your core. Hold that nice tall position, extend your left arm, reach and lengthen, deep inhalation, long exhalation, and release. Make sure you enjoy these stretches. Don't move further than you feel comfortable with. Maybe a nice stretchy sensation, perhaps a little discomfort, but definitely no pain. So just get full with that. 
And center. Make sure you enjoy these movements. We're going to have one more. Then up. And then back to the center. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining me today. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy these exercises. If so, please give us a thumbs up and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.